Welcome or welcome back at Tiny Help at Cisco. In this example, I'm going to write a two column proof first and then a flow chart for this problem where is given that FG congruent of HK, segment FG congruent of HK, which is this segment. Segment FG, this one is congruent of segment HK. And if you notice, the first thing I did, I mark on my picture this statement. And I need to prove that the segment FH, this one, is congruent to segment GK. And now I'm going to uh, look to kind of a, I will say, informal way to prove it. Uh, for example, if this is 5, that would be 5 also because they are the same measure, right? They are congruent. And then this is, let's say, 3. You notice, from F to H, I'm going to have 5 plus 3, that is 8. From K to G, I'm going to have the same A because it's 5 plus 3. So this is a way to see that how this proof is going to work. Obviously, these guys are not 5 and 3. So let's do the two-column proof. In a two-column proof, you have two columns. On the first column, you're going to put statements, the left columns, in fact. And on the right column, you're going to put reasons. And you always want to start with what is given. In our case, the segment FG congruent with the segment HK. Like I said, this is given. Now, now we want to go from this segment statement to the measure of the segment FG, so which is this FG, is equal to the measure of the segment HK. And that is the definition of congruent segments. That's the short way of what I said. Okay, uh, then, then look at here what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the segment GH. GA is the one right here in the middle. If you know this, remember I said this is 3A5. So remember, uh, I'm going to say GH equal with itself. GH. That would be the reflexive property. Whenever you have something equals with itself, that is the reflexive property, in this case of equality. And now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add these guys. I'm going to add these two segment and these two segments. So I'm going to have FG plus GH, that is the left side. And on the right side, we have HK plus GH. And these two needs to be equal. We add two equalities. And that will be the addition property of equality. But now let's take a look. FG plus GH. FG plus GH, this segment, FG plus GH is nothing else than FH. And what did I use here as a reason is the segment addition postulate or the ruler postulate. You can hear that also. Similar, I'm going to look to this right side, HK plus GH. And let's take a look. HK plus GH is this segment, GK. The same reason, segment addition postulate. And now I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to replace substitution, right? This guy with this guy, right? They are the same. FH equal, this equals, obviously. And then HK plus GH, if you remember, it's nothing else than GK. 
Okay, so that is what we call the substitution property of the equality. And one more step, we finish. We're going to go from this statement, which tells us the measure of the segments is the same, to this statement. The segments are congruent. Okay, so it's the same thing, definition of congruent segments. And this is a two-column proof for this problem. On the next slide, we're going to do a flowchart for the same problem. A flowchart, you're going to use boxes and arrows. And the first box you want to start with is what is given? FG congruent to HK. That's my first box. And underneath of the box, below it, you're going to write the reason, given. And from this statement, I can move and say the measure of segment FG equals the measure of segment HK. The, these two statements are connected. That's the reason I have this arrow. And the reason is definition of congruent segment. Okay, and now I'm going to bring in the next thing, that GH, and I do not have space here, I know it's going to look a little bit different, it's equal to itself GH, this if you remember we call it the reflexive property. Whenever you have something equals with itself, that is the flexive property. And now if you remember, we add things, right? We put these two guys together. We add. And we're going to get the left side. FG plus GH should be equal to HK plus GH. We add two expression. And do you notice we have that equal sign? Okay, so this is the addition property of the equality. Okay, well now let's see. FG plus GH, if you remember, FG plus GH is FH. Okay, and this is the segment addition postulate, the reason for this box. Very similar, I'm going to have another box here and I'm going to say HK plus GH. HK, this segment plus GH, that will be GK, right? And the reason is the same like the previous reason, segment addition postulate. But now, ladies and gentlemen, from these three statements, very interesting, right? From these three statements, so that's the reason I'm going to draw these three arrows. I can get another statement, right? I'm going to replace the FG plus GH with FH. And that is equal, and HK plus GH is GK. Okay, so this statement here is the result of the other three statements. This is the logic connection, the logic step from the other three uh, statements. And the reason here will be just substitution property. Okay. Now I can go down here, or I don't have enough space, so I'm going to move right here. It really doesn't matter what you're doing. One more step, and I'm going to say FH, the segment FH, in fact, congruent to segment GK, which we need to prove. You remember that's the last thing here. And the reason will be definition of congruent 
segments. And that's it. This is the flowchart for this problem. If you enjoy this uh, problem, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.